Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. So as you can tell from the top, we have some products from Nails by Dev. I probably included that in the title or the thumbnail, I'm not quite sure yet. If you guys missed the first video I did using her products, I will link it up here. So this one actually came in a separate order and I just added it to this box. I did purchase this in December, so I did get this really pretty holographic sticker with the Santa hat. So these are the new gel liner colors. This is a full collection. I can't quite think of the name of the collection off the top of my head at the moment. So I'll put it up on screen, but these colors look really pretty. I am super excited to try these liners out as well. I really loved the other collection. This is just to add some more colors. I did also pick some more gels from her website. This one here is obviously a matte gel top coat. I can never have too many matte gel top coats. This one here in the middle is the shading gel. This is the black one. This is actually a transparent black color that is used to shade character nail art. So I am really excited to try this one. And this one is a foil gel just because the foil gel that I currently use, I feel like it doesn't really work that well. Like I don't really get clean transfers. So I have been wanting to try a different foil gel. Here we have the thank you card as well as another holographic sticker. Last but definitely not least, we have the Complexion Collection. I have been wanting this for a while and when I planned to buy it, it was actually out of stock. So with her most recent restock, I did go ahead and purchase the collection. This collection has eight skin color gel polishes. I actually already have two of them. But I still got the whole collection anyway. <laughs> so here are the colors. We have Black Cherry. This is a dark reddish brown color. We have Mocha Magic, Cocoa Puff, Honey Bun, Bear It All, Pinky Promise, Skinny Dip, and Baby Doll. I do already have Skinny Dip as well as Honey Bun. But again, I just got the entire collection. Here's a little bit better look at the colors on the bottle. I will be swatching these in just a minute. So as I mentioned earlier, I am wearing the Honey Bun Gel Polish Color. This is over top of Kira Sky's Medium Almond Jelly Tips. If you guys are interested to purchase anything from Kira Sky, you can use my discount code KC Nails to save a little bit of money. I am just going to have to swatch out the gel polishes. I am going from darkest to lightest. So this is two coats of cured gel polish for these four colors. I'm going to go ahead and matte top coat the nails. So I cured it and they still look kind of shiny and then I touched it and it's like tacky. So I took a lint-free wipe and I'm going to remove the tacky layer. Okay. Okay. So I actually never knew that matte gel top coats have a tacky layer all of the matte gel top coats i've ever used don't have a tacky layer so this is new for me <laughs> so here are the swatches for the complexion collection look how gorgeous these colors are me personally i feel like this one is a little bit too pink this one is pinky promise i do know that some people have a pretty pink skin tone but i feel like that one is pretty pink i really love all of the colors in this collection let me know down below which is your favorite so now i'm going to be swatching the liner collection this by the way is called the y2k summer collection it is currently on sale as i'm filming this video i definitely recommend her liners if you are looking to get into no art i will also be using nails by devs detailer brush just because this video might be a little bit long i'm just going to do like some little lines so you can see the color this, by the way, is probably the worst brush to do long lines like this. I really should have used the 9mm. But yeah, I'm just doing it this way so you guys can see the colors. These gel liners are perfect for nail art because when you place them down on the nail, it's not going to run. 
it's going to stay exactly where you put it and they are extremely pigmented so that is perfect for character nail art and more detailed nail designs so here is the finished complexion collection along with the swatch of the gel liners okay so it's been quite a while since i recorded the previous part of this video i have just been sitting on this footage for a while so my nails are different and here i have some short jelly tips on and we're ready for a nail design but i actually got another package from nails by dev so i'm gonna go ahead and quickly unbox that one as well So of course, with my order, I did get a thank you card as well as a brush care card. This tells you how to take care of your brushes. I did decide to pick up the brown shading gel. So this is actually like a transparent brownish color and you use this for shading characters in nail art. I do have the black one, so I wanted to add the brown to my collection as well. So before I open this box, I do want to go ahead and say I did purchase these items while they were on live and they were doing a spin for a free item if you purchased a certain amount of products. So I actually received two of the same brushes. <laughs> It does kind of suck getting the exact same thing I just spent my money on. I kind of wish they would have respun just because I don't really need two of the same one. I do feel like it would be a little bit different if it was like the liner brush or something, but it is what it is. So this is the As If Ombre brush. Of course, it does have her name right here. This is supposed to help you blend gel polishes for ombres, and this is something I really need to work on. So I figured this will be a good addition to my collection. So this is what I'm actually most excited for. So let's go ahead and open it up. So this is Dev's I'm Sprung gel polish collection. So it is just a bunch of pastel gel polishes. I love pastel nails, so I wanted to add this to my collection. It was on sale when I purchased it, which is one reason why I did get it. And just to see what it would be like to purchase some of their products while they were on live. I don't think I'll be swatching out these polishes at the moment just because I'm ready to get straight into a nail design. So let's go ahead and move straight into the nail design. I know I literally just got the ombre brush and I'm not even going to be using it for this video. So I do apologize, but we're just going to be doing some basic gel polish color over top of the jelly tips. I'm going to be painting the pinky with I'm Sprung. This is a really pretty like bubblegum pink gel polish color. The next nail is going to be painted with Daydream. This is the lavender color. The next nail I'm going to be painting with So Fresh, So Clean. I love this color green, by the way. It's absolutely gorgeous. The next nail, we're actually going to be painting Bare It All. This is from the Complexion Collection. This is one of my favorite colors from the collection. I've reached for this color basically every single manicure that I've had on since unboxing the collection. So this is definitely my favorite one. And the color we're going to be using for the thumb is called Meant To Be. This color is absolutely gorgeous. I haven't even swatched or used the entire collection yet, and I think this is my favorite one. And after applying the first layer of gel polish, I'm going to go ahead and cure under my Kira Sky Lavender Lamp. I'm going to go ahead and do a second layer of each gel polish color. I do really like the consistency and the pigments of Dev's gel polishes. They are pretty pigmented, but like most gels, you do need two coats. If you guys are curious what is on my other hand, this is also a jelly tip manicure. And on top of those, I do have the gel polish color from Dev called Pinky Promise. So normally I would apply a matte gel top coat for the nail art portion, but today I'm just feeling like taking the tacky layer off. So I'm taking a lint-free wipe, this is also from Nails by Dev, and some isopropyl alcohol, and I'm going to go ahead and remove the sticky layer. 
So I don't think I've quite mentioned it yet, but for this manicure, I am going to be doing Wreck-It Ralph inspired nails. So let's go ahead and get the color palette ready for the nail art. So here I have a tile and I'm going to be using this as my nail art palette. So for the ring fingernail, we are starting out with Vanilla Peach. For the main skin color, we're going to be using Baby Doll. For the blushing and her nose, we're going to be using Pinky Promise. Again, this is the color I'm currently wearing. I'll also be using Cocoa Puff for the color of her eyes. I may or may not use Black Cherry, mainly for the skirt. I don't think I'll be using this, but I'm going to place some down just in case. I'll also be using these two gel liner colors. These are from the same gel liner collection. I will pop it up on screen because I can't quite remember the name of it. But we have Spice Girl and Solo Cup. And very obviously, we're going to be using the white gel liner and the baddest black. I'm most likely going to be using these three brushes throughout the nail design. We have the 9mm, the detailer, and also the little baby blender. As usual, I'll probably be starting out with the 9mm and probably doing most of the nail art with this. So I almost forgot, but we're going to be trying out the brown shading gel. So I'm just going to apply this to the nail art palette. And I'm going to be using that for the sketch of the character. For the sketch of the character, I'm just trying to make sure I have everything placed where I want it. The good thing about using a gel for this is you can quickly remove it with a lint-free wipe if you do not like it. Okay, so I quickly did the eyes, nose, and the mouth off camera just to try to get the placement as best as possible. So that is the sketch I am going to go ahead and cure. So once we have the sketch of Vanellope, I'm going to go ahead and start with the skin tone. I am starting with the lightest one. Again, this is called Baby Doll. And I'm going to go ahead and fill in all of the areas of her skin tone. Once I have her skin tone down, I am going to go ahead and do a 30 second cure. From this point on, I am only doing 30 seconds just to make sure that this process of the character is not extremely time consuming. I am going to go ahead and do the white of her eyes. I'm also going to go ahead and do her teeth and I'm going to cure. Now taking Solo Cup, the gel liner, I'm going to go ahead and start doing her hoodie. Random fun fact, I used to draw a lot as a kid and I loved drawing hoodies. I loved how it like wrapped around the neck and like folded over the shoulder. That's really random, but I used to love drawing hoodies. Once I have her hoodie, I am going to go ahead and cure. Then taking Spice Girl, I'm going to go ahead and do the strings on her hoodie. I also know the Twizzler in her hair is more red, but I'm just going to go ahead and use this color anyway. Let me know down below in the comments if you guys like Twizzlers. I hate them. They're so disgusting. <laughs> and I'm going to go ahead and cure that. So I'm going to go ahead and move on to her eyes now. I am taking Cocoa Puff and a dotting tool and I'm going to go ahead and do her irises. Honestly, to me, this is the most crucial part of any character nail design. If the eyes are not right, the whole thing is going to look off. Funny enough, eyes are typically about the hardest thing to do. As good as those circles are, she's like a tiny, tiny bit cross-eyed in this picture. So I'm going to match it perfectly. So I'm going to cure. So taking the black gel liner, the baddest black, I'm going to go ahead and do her facial features. This is basically her eyelashes and her eyebrows. Anytime you outline anything on the face, it has to be very, very little product. You want extremely thin, consistent lines, otherwise it is going to look a little bit off. It's funny because right now I feel like I'm just skipping around to whatever part of the nail design I feel like doing. Which is actually really fun to me. It keeps the nail design interesting and it doesn't make doing repetitive character designs like really boring. So I like the fact that I can basically skip around on the nail design and it still turns out really pretty. I did go ahead and cure the facial features as well as her hair. So now we're going to try and do the pupils. This is always the hardest part for me, and it's basically the make or break of the facial features. Okay, so I'm back. I had a few issues with her eyes, and I ended up wiping away, and some of the black also wiped away, so I kind of touched up some of that. We're moving on to the highlight of her hair. 
I'm just taking the white gel liner and we're going to go ahead and do some of the highlight streaks in her hair. And I'm going to go ahead and cure. So going in with the color Pinky Promise, we're going to go ahead and do her nose, the blushing on her cheeks, and her lips. Okay, so I kind of had to do some more of the mouth and nose off camera because it was not turning right. And when I stopped recording, I finally got it. So now we're moving on to her cheeks. I'm now taking the Baby Blender to blend out the blushing. This is dry and has nothing on it. And I'm going to go ahead and cure. I'm going to take these three colors from the pastel collection and we're going to be placing this on the palette as well. I'm going to be using these three colors for the candy in her hair. So like I just said, we're taking these colors for the candy in her hair. And now the last step is to go ahead and add some shading. For this, I am using the brown shading gel. So I just quickly did a little bit of outlining like her face and her jacket with the black cherry gel polish color. Nothing crazy. I know I'm skipping a little bit, but I've been on this nail for quite a while and I'm ready to go to bed. So the last step is to go ahead and top coat. I'm going to be using Kira Sky's non-white gel top coat. I'm trying to do this with very little pressure and do a very thin layer just to make sure I do not smear any of the gel that I just spent a very long time doing. I have actually experienced this and it's mostly with the areas that I shaded. Sometimes the gel doesn't really seem to want to stick to the nail very well when I try to blend it. So if you guys have any tips for that, please let me know down below in the comments. So here is Penelope, let me know what you guys think of this character and let's go ahead and move on to the next. So it's the next day and we're going to go ahead and move on to Ralph, I'm going to be placing him on the middle finger now. Just as I did Penelope, I'm going to start with the brown shading gel for the sketch of the character. I am just moving straight into the skin color and I am using the same ones that I used for Penelope. Just because looking at certain pictures, their skin color looks exactly the same to me. So yeah, I'm just using the same colors. Once I have the skin tone of Ralph done, I am going to go ahead and cure. I'm going to go ahead and take the white to do his eyes. Before I cure that, I am going to go ahead and do his hair as well. The main color I'm going to be using is Cocoa Puff. I'm also going to be using Be My Lover. This is from the I'm Sprung collection and I'm going to be using this for his undershirt. I will be using the liner gel called NYX Plat. This is a orange gel liner. I'm going to be using this for his shirt. I'll also be using Oops I Did It Again which is a red gel liner for the strap of his overall. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and move on to the nose and the mouth. For this, I am just using Pinky Promise as I did for Penelope. And taking the Baby Blender, I'm going to blend out the blushing on his cheeks. After that's cured, I am taking the brown shading gel again and we're going to go ahead and do the mouth. This little pink line, by the way, was the lip. I didn't want to make it too much because of course he's a guy, but I feel like that's a really good like subtle lip. So now I'm going to be using this color for the main shape of his mouth. I don't know if you guys can tell, but I did go ahead and do the pupils as well. So now I'm going to take the brown shading gel once again, and we're going to do some shading and details on his face. Now taking Black Cherry, I'm going to go ahead and add shading in his hair and also do his eyebrows. And I'm just going to go ahead and quickly, lightly outline some areas of this character using the shading gel. And of course, the last step is to go ahead and top coat. And here is Ralph. 
I'm gonna go ahead and top coat the pinky because we're going to be doing some 3D art. And I'm going to go ahead and gear. So I'm gonna be taking the white trippy gel along with the silicone tool and we're going to be sculpting out the necklace that Penelope made for Ralph. I kind of forgot about this until I was looking at more pictures and I was like, that is so cute. I want to include that in the nail set. So I figured this would be a good idea. Honestly, I would maybe do more characters, but we're getting close to Valentine's Day. I feel like adding the heart will kind of tie in the whole Valentine's like holiday coming up with the nail set just a little bit. So that is why I'm choosing to do the heart necklace. This is a cookie necklace, so we're also going to make it look like a cookie. I just placed a decent size amount of the trippy gel on the center of the nail and I'm going to sculpt it out into the heart. I'm not quite getting the surface as smooth as I want, so I'm going to try to take one of the insert cards from the packages just to press it and get a smoother surface. I don't know if this is going to work or not. It doesn't have to be perfect because we are going to be like painting over this, but I just want a pretty smooth base. Once I have the heart like I want, I am going to go ahead and cure. So I'm actually going to be using a gel liner polish. This is number one from the Fall the Harvest collection from Double Dip Nails. I do feel like this is a pretty close color to the one that's in the reference photo. We don't really have to focus on applying the product in the center, it's just like the edges and a tiny bit of the cookie. I'm going to add a thin ring of white around the yellow that I just did. This does not have to be perfect because it is a cookie and this is icing and icing is not perfect. So you don't really have to stress about that. Then taking Be My Lover, we're going to go ahead and fill in the center of the cookie. Next, I am taking Dev's matte gel top coat and I'm going to go ahead and top coat the heart. I am doing this because the cookie is pretty matte and I don't think having a glossy finish is going to look right. Okay, so something I haven't quite thought about at this point is the reference photo. It says you're my hero and it also has sprinkles and with the size of this cookie, I don't think I'm going to be able to write you're my on it. So I might just try to write like hero in the middle so you're able to at least read it. So I want to try that and see how it looks. Okay, so I wrote hero off camera. This was extremely hard because it's so tiny. Hopefully you guys can read it. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and add the sprinkles. So I'm going to go ahead and do the strap of the necklace and this is like a gummy string candy that's like sugared. So I'm going to go ahead and take Spice Girl and we're going to draw out the necklace. So because this is like a candy that is coated in sugar, I don't really have like a clear glitter that I can use that is very very fine. So I'm actually going to use this pink one. I'm just going to be pouring this over the uncured gel and then I'm going to cure. After that's cured, we're going to use a stiff manicure brush to remove the remaining glitter. And that is the pinky. I think it turned out pretty good considering how small it is. <laughs> okay, I'm in the process of making candy for the index now. So we're making donuts and I figured I would go ahead and record at least one of them. So again, I'm using the trippy gel and the silicone tool. I am just picking up a decently small amount of the gel. It's not really recommended, but I am going to roll it into a ball with my fingers. I don't have gloves on. That is so bad of me. Anyway, once we have the ball, this by the way is like the backing of paper nail forms. It is the backing of a sticker, so it's like really, really soft and it allows product to not adhere to it. So once you have the ball on the paper, you want to take something pointy. Again, I'm using the silicone tool and start doing the hole in the center of the donut. You can also very gently shape the sides back into a circle if it's not quite perfect. And then once you have your donut shape, you do want to go ahead and cure. The next step is to take a brown gel polish and paint over your donuts. So then once you have the base color of your donuts, you want to go ahead and decorate them with icing and sprinkles. 
I'm gonna be using the lavender gel polish and also the pink one from the I'm Sprung collection. You can decorate these however you like. And here are your donuts. You can top coat them, but I'm just going to wipe the sticky layer away and that's about it. You may want to like re-poke the hole in the center, which is totally fine. I'm going to go ahead and do that. So I'm also going to be making some heart lollipops. So let's go ahead and make those. We're just going to be using a tiny bit of the trippy gel. Again, I'm using my hands. Please don't do this. <laughs> I'm just going to roll it in between my fingers to make a hot dog shape. Then taking the chisel side, I'm going to like cut the string to make it like very squared off. So for the actual lollipop, we're going to be using this transparent poly gel. This is a pink. I will be using just a small little bead of this poly gel. You want to place it like right at the end of the little stick. I just went ahead and dipped the silicone tool in some rubbing alcohol so the poly gel does not stick. And we're going to form this into a little heart. After forming the heart, you want to make sure your stick is coming down straight. And once you have your little heart lollipop, you do want to go ahead and cure. This pink poly gel, by the way, does kind of slightly change color when it's exposed to UV light, which is why it's a lighter pink now. But of course, after being out of the lamp for a while, it will turn back to this color. After it's cured, you want to very gently remove it from the paper, and there is your lollipop. After taking the lollipop off, you want to take some cuticle nippers and just clip off any of the remaining poly gel that you don't want. If it's not exactly perfect after clipping some of the poly gel away, you can use a hand file and very gently file it to get a perfect shape, or you can even use a very fine drill bit and an e-file. And there is the really cute lollipop. Here's the back. So for the index nail, I have decided to go with my first idea and do an ice cream nail. I did want to incorporate a lot of candy for this nail set because the racetracks on Sugar Rush have a lot of candy in it and I really took a lot of inspiration from that. So for the index nail, we are going to be doing an ice cream nail. I'm just taking the gel polish color Cocoa Puff and we're going to go ahead and do the waffle of the ice cream cone. We're going to be doing lines going in the opposite direction to create the waffle effect. I'm not exactly worried about taking these lines all the way to the cuticle because I am going to be placing the ice cream there. So I'm pretty sure it's going to be covered up anyway. So I'm just getting pretty close, but I don't really have an issue if I don't go all the way. Going back with the trippy gel, we're going to go ahead and sculpt out the ice cream. So I went ahead and cured the first scoop of ice cream and now I'm going to be doing a second one just underneath. I am just taking the little baby blender and my sunshine from the I'm Sprung collection. I'm going to be painting the top scoop of ice cream and using peaches and cream, I'm going to paint the bottom one. And once I've painted the ice creams, I'm going to go ahead and cure. I'm going to go ahead and matte top coat the ice cream nail. I am top coating the entire nail and I'm trying not to do this too thick because I want to keep the texture in the ice cream. You might would want to do this step before doing the ice cream, but I wanted to make the ice cream matte anyways, so I figured I would just do it all at once. Once I've applied the matte top coat, I am going to go ahead and cure it. I have decided to add a very tiny cherry, so I'm going to take a tiny bit of the trippy gel and I'm going to roll it into a ball. I'm going to place it on top of the ice cream. Of course, we gotta make the little stem. And I'm going to cure the little cherry. I will be painting it red with Oops, I Did It Again. And for the thumb, I am taking the McCart rhinestone glue and I'm going to go ahead and glue on the 3D candy charms that we made earlier. I don't exactly like how this chocolate bar is like pink, so I'm going to take the color Cocoa Puff and just color over the pink chocolate. And I'm going to glossy top coat around these charms. Lastly, and most importantly, we're going to go ahead and apply the cuticle oil. And here are the nails. 
let me know what you guys think of this nail set down below in the comments i love these i am obsessed wreck it ralph is one of my favorite animated movies do make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you're not already do make sure to subscribe because i do post weekly videos and i'll see you guys in the next one bye